So in yesterday's video, I uh, talked about like there, how there's three tiers of uh, neurotyping like evidence, right? There's like the bottom tier. That, I'm just gonna put the image I made. I made an image from the thing I was talking about yesterday. The bottom is aesthetics. This is like uh, uh, this is, so. This is the hierarchy of what I would think is like evidence for neurotyping someone. Or some, this is generally, what I'm referring to with this is basically all character. Like, characters and shows, that's what I'm working off of. Because I feel like neurotyping, I have a suspicion. That neurotyping was made um, on a few different levels, and they weren't all brought together super coherently. So... Let's start with, let's just work from the top down. That's what I think we're gonna do. The top is basically the axes as they're defined in the original video. Um, something about trains of thought for lateral and linear and lexical to impression is something about the codification of your thoughts. But then we got down to the second level and the second level is expression. This is basically what is being talked about in this is basically what's being talked about when the type descriptions are given in the original video but the correlation between the expression and the thought um how do i say this you could have human calculator thought but give off the expression of a of a you know something else like understanding um, because these two things, a lot of assumptions were made about, um, in the original video, a lot of assumptions were made about how human calculators act because this is how they act in anime. It's not really how people who think that way act in real life, right? So a lot of assumptions were made about each type's expression um as they correlated to anime which wasn't really the case for um the reality so but i haven't i've got a new theory going that these are actually all connected in like a more meta level right like i think you can have human calculator thought and more of a uh, understanding expression but that they're they are they're not playing separate games they are tied by essentially an overarching rule right like when we talk about the thought layer of laterality that is like i'm not saying that these aren't entirely all disconnected right like the thought layer is come like density of thought the expression is sort of like convolution and complexity in laterality. And aesthetically, it's kind of the same, a more complex, convoluted um, visual thing. Um, and then the linear, you know, linear is more thought, thought wise, that's less density, more straightforward expression, more straightforward. Um, kind of, there's an association with linearity and just like, quick decision making as well and with aesthetics you know when you think of a linear thing it's a lot more you know less less dense less density of meaning and imagery for impressionism in the thought we're talking about like um your inability to codify an expression we're still kind of talking about that but it could be the case that your inability to you're, you're normally pretty lexical but your inability to express is just because you're in a current situation this is a problem with a lot of like typing tv show characters because say something like most romances a lot the guy most of the time when he's not talking to the girl i think you is usually like a very lexical person but then he gets put into this more chaotic situation um with this this like with a romantic interest that they they don't like what's what am I trying to say? It's like it's new territory for them. They haven't codified all the things around romance. So this interaction with this this person is very chaotic and non-lexical for them. 
Uh, aesthetic impre impressionistic aesthetics is like uh, somebody said some really good sh the other day. It's more stylized, and I think that leans up into expression as well as is breaking the mold. Uh, expression and aesthetics for impressionism are both kind of stylized and break and breaking the, the mold and the rules of common community and society that that the character is a part of lexically thought is is codified expression these people are more in tune with society because they're more structured they're more with everything and aesthetically that's kind of the same where the meaning of your 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 work of art is kind of leans into the more structural norms of society or is more like like someone said something like a perfectly drawn cube that's like lexical art. It's like trying to like hand draw a perfect cube. Like you get a perfect cube drawn, it could look pretty cool. I don't know. Anyway, but I think that it's all it's all connected. I think when when I've I've definitely talked with people and have agreed with them at a point at some point. I think I disagree now that they're like separate games and they kind of are but i think there is an overarching meta rule for all of these things where lexicality is leaning towards like order vaguely orderly on all of these levels uh on meaning on um you know just how your thoughts are organized and everything vaguely order vaguely order impressionism is vaguely not necessarily chaotic but it's kind of like new like it is kind of chaotic but not in like the like a bad way it's like like if you saw a work of art that was like extremely overwhelmingly colorful is that bad like not really you know so being stylized is to break from the norm but that's not bad and so impressionism is is sort of I guess in a way stylized and kind of married with that is somewhat the inability to properly express um, that stylization in the terms of orderliness that everyone else has, right? I think that makes sense. When you're stylized, when you are stylized as an individual, trying to explain your stylization to someone who is more in the mold of society can be difficult. Uh, laterality, I think on all levels is is about complexity and density of meaning and mechanic usage, mechanical usage. And linearity is more about and straightforwardness. And I think, I don't know, sometimes I don't think some, some people I don't think want to, I don't, I think some people don't feel they think that way, but I think you can express that way. And aesthetically maybe kind of be that way i don't know yeah i just want to throw that out there that you know i was i was like here are the the three games i'm seeing at play but they're actually one game with overarching rules you know lex vaguely order vaguely stylized vaguely complex vaguely straightforward maybe vague isn't the right word it's like <laughs> an impression <laughs> gives off the impression of order gives off, it's like it's about acting out these things it's about acting out order acting out stylization acting out complexity acting out straightforwardness and that doesn't um and that can manifest itself in so many ways i think that's what i'm trying to say oh man i'm almost 10 minutes i think that's it for today's video uh tell me what you thought i'm interested uh, that's it I'll, I'll see you again next time